Heritage Month continues. We wanted to highlight a very special group at Tucson High. The Los Tucsonenses is actually celebrating a big milestone this year. I actually got to go out and talk to current student, students as well as alumni of the longstanding program. We are the oldest existing folklorico here in Arizona. Los Tucsonenses is celebrating 50 years of dance and tradition. So exciting to be a part of the legacy that we have here at Tucson High. With 200 students currently in the program. I feel like if I hadn't have joined this program, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Director Bruno Loya went from being a dance student to teaching in the classroom. It takes a village to make sure that everything that we do um, can happen. And for a program that's been around for five decades. We didn't have a dance room when I was here. It's helped shape the careers of many alumni. I, I really owe a lot to those goose dances because I, I really knew that was my passion and what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Because what's built here through the art of dance, it's become a big family and a big impact on my life. Is choreography that's never forgotten. <laughs> Now, if you miss any of our Hispanic Heritage Month pieces, we do have them online. And something that I revealed today is that I actually did Ballet Flocorico when I was a freshman. I know. You told me that a while back that you did that. And I, I'm, I'm impressed. But you said you did it to get out of PE. I did. I didn't <laughs> want to run a mile, but I enjoyed it. That's still a lot of work. I'll tell you, I think I probably sweat more doing this with the big skirts, the sure. practice skirts and the material than any mile. Yeah, I'll bet, I'll bet that's true.